Guybrush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy. I can't take it anymore. I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm going to be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Is this some sort of bribe situation? No, more like extortion. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Help! Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. 
please, not in my new coat. Maybe I should cut you one out of cement. Whoa! Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Libre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse, right? Yes. This is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We have like two like full-time programmers who are doing nothing but programming the iMuse transitions. Because like it's a main theme outside, and then every time you go into one of these inner locations or inside the the house, it would enable or disable instruments, and it right. would change the theme a little right. bit. Right. Right. Yeah, no, iMuse was like uh, absolutely amazing. But we, they put a lot of work into it and they decided never to do it again. Because they're like, no one noticed. I noticed. <laughs> yeah, I did. Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you can name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You then. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Over the door, or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. cooking. Excuse me. I can't concentrate with you talking to me. Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. 
why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Yeah? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Hello? Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Can I see your files? Actually, there's not anything in them. I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know it contains unimaginable wealth. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library, if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, 
I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. problem with that Largo guy. He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. Welcome to Woodtip. No treads or hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Ron Gilbert, and I did pretty much everything on this game. Uh, I did all the art, the music, uh, programming, and the writing. So typical. Uh, I'm Dave Grossman. I, uh, I helped Ron do everything on this game. I uh, helped to design puzzles and wrote lots of dialogue and programmed things and made little people walk around and created scenes. Uh, my name's Tim Schaefer. I helped get coffee for these guys, and then at night I redid everything <laughs> that they did. And I, I was an assistant designer programmer. That's the official title. That was our official title. Yeah. So we, had, we, we helped with puzzles and then wrote dialogue and then programmed. Wow. I used to program. Mm -hmm. I still program too. What's happening? What was that sound? Oh my god, the game's starting. What an awesome game. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me. Do we have any weenies left? I never liked his name. Captain Dread, that's a yeah. great name. I never liked his name. Captain Dread, it's that's a great both name. scary pirate name. You're wrong. And dreadlocks. Yeah. Maybe you don't realize this, but those big chunks of hair are called dreadlocks. I think I think it was because the <laughs> pun was too obvious. Oh, there's something too obvious, not subtle enough in Monkey Island for you, pants dropper. Right. <laughs> well, it's because you're missing all the symbolism of the pants dropping. The thing I didn't and like was that you never see his face except for the very beginning. His head is turned the whole time. I'm like, this is so disconcerting to see just the back of his head. He could just have his head, he could have had his head just tilted a little bit like that. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. 
No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck job. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Spider lungs. Oh de Mojo, the mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Cat dewormer. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. I'll just take a little. Hey, that's just a display model. Guy brush three food. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh yeah, now I remember. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Now go. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Uh, about that jar I was looking at? That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I'll take it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, 
You need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Boy, Voodoo's complicated. Rules are rules. Well, that's enough Voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. that don't need to dress up. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the earth can hold them. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. I can't dig that, daddy. This is creepy feeling. my grandfather's grave. Something weird is going on. Oh god, I forgot about the graveyard. This is like the greatest scene ever. Why are the bats making different sounds here? Okay, so why This is, is another thing we scene? fought over. I thought the pants thing, I didn't think that was funny. I think the pants thing And you thing thought it was the hilarious. best thing in the whole game. I did. I did. And I still do. I still do. I actually use this as an example sometimes when, I, when I'm talking to people. You used to think people. was funny and I realize it's not funny? No, it's like the pinnacle of humor. <laughs> it's an untoppable moment. <laughs> but what, did he pull his belt off to, in order to dig? What, why, why does, why, why does that happen, Ron? Now tell us. <laughs> It's because the, because the game requires different levels. You got your sophisticated. But why do his humor, pants fall down? Did he take his? Did he use his belt to dig? See that. See, see the sense. problem is you're trying to justify it too much. <sighs> it's just funny. Just roll with it. It's fantasy about pants falling down. It's just a stupid computer game, Tim. Oh, see that's the see. I think that could have been a really deep moment. His pants fell for a reason. Mm -hmm. For example, Gravity. He was digging up. You win. It's hilarious. <laughs> but I, I never liked anything I, that was great. In, like, I, I was against the insult sword fighting. Remember? I was like, people are going to be really mad. Mm -hmm. Well, for the beginning of the meeting, and we're, you were like, how about, I think it's too action oriented if we actually put sword fighting in there. Because it was going to be like Karataka, mm -hmm. Kartika, Karataka. And um, it's like, it's too action oriented. I think people would enjoy it more if it was just insults. Which I realize now is a great idea. At the time, I thought we're going to get angry letters from people who want to use their sword. That you know, But uh, I saw the all the light eventually but that came from those all that time we spent watching those movies mm -hmm. in the in the media room at the main house was the way the pirates you know verbally jousted with each other mm -hmm. it's kind yeah of where I remember you saying that it, was, that it was just what they said that was important and that the sword fighting always seemed like kind of a background activity Bucket of mud. And it's mine. All oh, mine.
I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. Hey, how don't Pegbiter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. It doesn't seem to stay close. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, Somebody's gonna be real sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Piece of eight for your trouble. Nice. Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Ah, here it comes.
cold soup. chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soiz. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soiz, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my God! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Ow! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang! Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Sure. I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. I had to go to the bathroom. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. That voodoo doll? Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. 
You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did it, LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! Most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me. Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? 
Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Everything looks all blurry. Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Hidden by an endless storm lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood. And I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. Oh, here comes the exciting sailing scene. Oh, this was for the ship combat I worked so hard on. No, that was on Monkey <laughs> One. That was on Monkey it One. It was not in Monkey That's One. Right, it was on the cutting room floor of Monkey One. Yeah. Because it was too good for that game. <laughs> okay, Jolly Rasta, that's not a good name. Dread is a good name, but Jolly Dread Rasta. It name. sounds like pasta. Jolly pasta? Yeah, it should have been the jolly Instead. pasta. Should have been the elbow macaroni. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to three islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy to read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go.
Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. I'm really very busy. Could we do this another time? Coming. Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. The thing I remember about Governor Fat was just that he was way bigger on screen than characters that we generally did. It was like he a small planet. Very much. It was like, yeah, just this yeah. enormous. You could, you could have guy. lived inside him. He only actually. animated his like mitt, mouth or something. Yeah. Just kind of a little jiggly. One thing that I, I liked, I always liked about Monkey Island One slow. and Two was, was how you're kind of playing this game, and almost when you think the game's over, it's like then kind of the real game starts. It's like you're mm -hmm. spending all this time on Scab Island or on Melee Island, and you think you're kind of completing the main objective of the game and then the whole game kind of opens up after that. I always like that. And all the uh, RTS elements cute. come into it at that point? Yeah. And the first person shooter stuff. I don't know if people discovered that. I always love yeah. this poster. Super I love that. I always like to do that. In other, I always want to do that in other games. Like every game should have a poster that lists everything that you've done. Oh, all the bad things. All the bad things all you've done. Stealing but, like, a monocle. In the voice of the character. In the voice of the... <laughs> See, we're obviously feeling bad about Guybrush's mm -hmm. crimes. Because we listed them here on this poster. We did that in, 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 in Tales in the fourth episode, which is the, the trial and execution of Guybrush Street. I've heard that's the you, you get, best one. Maybe the best one. Uh, but the, the funnest bit is you get put on trial and it lists out all the stuff that you did in the first episode. <laughs> all, all the things are under arrest for them. Would you like to hear the story of the time I blew LeChuck's top? <laughs> Funny you should mention the Chuck, as he's the reason I brought you here. Ah, you wanted to thank me for getting rid of him, huh? Well, no thanks are necessary. You see, I... Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, the Chuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? Could I hide out here for a while? You can hide out until the Chuck comes to pick you up. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for the Chuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, well, I'll be back to relieve you at 11. It's always really hard, uh, you know, to design these puzzle things where he's confined in one room. Because it's like every everything on him and you have to figure out how to do it and all of and the And it's too hard, are, it's just you're stuck in a you're tiny, stuck, tiny yeah. room. But if it's too easy, it's a gimme puzzle and it's just not interesting. There's, there is something comforting about the fact that, you know, you can't go anywhere, so you know all your assets are right there. There is some way out. Like you, it's it's never Unless like you're oh, a I didn't game. pick something then up you three rooms away. I've got to go get there. Right, without the without Sierra. the pencil. Hello, little doggy. Hello, little doggy.
watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. Here, doggy doggy. Here, boy. This is also the big Pirates of the Caribbean ride ripoff yeah. moment, Good. too. Yeah, we can't really complain about the, the movie ripping Stealing off the game when the game takes. They were just getting us the... back for this. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's all it really was. And the dog's name Walt. Easy. Why was the dog's name Walt? Is that not for Walt Disney? No. Steve Purcell's so. dog was called Walt. I think that was oh, well, that was probably that. named after Walt Disney. That is possible. Walt was, uh, I remember, kind of a mean little dog. He bit me once. Walt's dead. Don't wait for the Walt. Well, I like that the dog was named after Walt Disney. Disney. Let's just go with that. Okay. Yeah, that's a sweeter story. Yeah, let's go with that. Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Wanted, Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, that's me! For the murder of G.P. LeChuck. Also for the use of witchcraft on the person of Largo Legrand. The thievery of clothing and medically prescribed hair supplements for such witchcraft. Gray robbing. Trespassing. Larceny without a permit. Exceeding allowable FDA limit for rodent parts in Vichyssoise. Unauthorized exiting from a penal institution. And releasing a dangerous reptile in a populated area. Also wanted for questioning regarding the disappearance of prescription eyewear. Reward offered for information leading to the suspect's apprehension. Threepwood is to be considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Right on! No more bets? Okay, here we go! Red. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Care to make a bet? Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 24 black. Okay. Here we go. Better luck next time. Well, thanks anyway. I hate losing. Excuse me, pal. I want to make another bet. 28 black. 28 black it is. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. Place your bets, please. Number. 
place and give me the password. If this is three, what's this? Two. Right. The winning number will be 13 red. Thanks. What's this room? I remember this room. Did they add this for the special dishes? Is this the game where we put in the, the if this is three, then what's yeah. this? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's, that was a mean, mean puzzle. <laughs> I, I, I apologize for that. That was that came from my family. Yeah. That was a trick. That, my, that was a thing. That game my brother played with me. This is two. This what's this? If this is four. What's this? I remember we went round and around trying to find some clever thing to do that. Mm-hmm. I think that that door existed for quite a while without any real puzzle there. It was like one of those little insert puzzle here yeah. signs. Right. It's nice that we could actually do that. On these games like that's hard to do now to design a game and say well okay here's a puzzle we're just going to put something in later and we'll think of it you know two months from now while we're building in the middle of building the game we'll write some different dialogue for it <clears throat> yeah dialogue recording voice recording really i think killed all that spontaneity that we had in monkey one and monkey two you just have to be spontaneous earlier <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't have as much time to right. be spontaneous. it's on the calendar spontaneity ends here right i'll knock what do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is two, what's this? Five? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is five, what's this? Four? That's two. One more. If this is four, what's this? Two? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club, but I don't recognize you. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry, I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be 31 black. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Care to make another bet? I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 31 black. Okay. Here we go. Thirty-one black. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number going to be? Please give me the password. If this is two, 
What's this? Three. Right. The winning number will be one red. Your bets, please. I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like one red. Okay, one red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I really want the circus ticket. He wants a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Congratulations! Thanks! the next winning number going to be? Please give me the password. If this is three, what's this? Five? Right. The winning number will be five black. Care to make another bet? I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like five black. Okay, five black. You're a winner, kid. Your choice is easy this time. You can have 60 pieces of eight. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, that's it for me. We're out of money and prizes. We'll be closing soon. Thanks to everybody for playing. Can't we play again? I want to win some more. Well, no. Oh, come on. Hey, what's that behind you? What? Where? Hey! Hmm. Okay, the library, is it true, Dave, did you write all the books that are in here, all of the book titles? I didn't. I, I did do a lot of them, but I remember we, uh, I think we, uh, we put out a call to, to all of to, to everybody, like, uh, hey, we need, we need book titles, and I think uh, Captain Trips actually wrote a large number of them. No, really. Some of them I didn't realize were references to other things in the game until I read them on, like, Monkey Island fan pages. Like, there are all these little hidden clues. Yeah, there's all kinds of references to stuff in there. References are fun. Yeah. What was the one? Something about the ending. Something about LeChuck and the, the, the fight that he had with uh, Guybrush. There's a reference to that in the library? Yeah. What does LeChuck mm. say it was a root of their fight as children? Like some... some embarrassing though. I don't know. Do you remember? I don't in the remember. last scene when, when, they're, when they're kids and they're like, we had this fight over something really trivial and there's a reference to it in the library. When you think they're mm. kids, you mean? Oh, when the robots, before the robots right. are programmed to think that they're kids, right. is mm -hmm. what I meant. Yeah. And they don't realize that they're dead. Right. And then the right. one kid, little boy can see dead people. Yeah. That part. Okay, look at those references. Okay, let's actually... <laughs> yeah. let's go through, Sherlock let's go, Holmes. Let's go through all the library cards. Yeah, can all we look at Let's everyone? go through them all. And Aren't there like a hundred? or What's 1060 West oh, Addison? Is that... Um, that is the address of Wrigley Field Wrigley from Field. the Blues Brothers. Oh, my God. Yeah. It is, in fact, a, a, an explicit reference to a joke in which someone gives a false address. So, perfectly appropriate. Excuse me. Shh! This is a library. Whisper! Now, what is it? I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. 
Well, would you like one? Yes. What do I have to do? I'll need some personal information. Name? Herman Toothrot. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? 19, uh, 21. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Jaywalking. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? Well, I don't know. What have you got? You expect me to name every book in the library? Use the card catalog like a normal person. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? Why do you have a model lighthouse here? There's a new lighthouse being built in town. That is a scale model of what it will look like. Does it work? It wouldn't be much of a lighthouse if it didn't, now would it? Actually, I meant the model. Oh. Yes, normally the model works too. The bulb is burned out right now, but there's a scaled down lens inside. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Then why did you? Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. There's a banana in here, and an organ. Hey, that tickles! This is a library! Famous pirate quotations. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Damp Damsels of the Deep. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? I'd like Damp Damsels of the Deep. Okay, here you go. Anything else? Do you have great shipwrecks of our century? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find the joy of Hex?
Okay, here you go. That's your limit. You'll have to give some books back before you can check out any more. Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Thank you. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Could you find famous pirate quotations? book has been checked out by Governor Fat. Anything else? They won't be needing any more books just now. Don't slam the door on your way out. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Do you remember how we designed the puzzles for this on the whiteboard and we purposely did the thing that we later thought made it too hard, but we put every island on the top and every puzzle chain on the side and then we made sure that there was an object on every island that you needed for every puzzle chain so that if you wanted to solve any like long puzzle chain, you had to visit every, every single, single island. island yeah. So that's why, like, when you actually play this game, you have to go from island to island to island over and over and over again. I don't remember discussions talking about, was that too annoying for players to constantly going from island to island to island to solve things. And you said, I don't care. I said 40 hours. It's going to be 40 <laughs> hours. They've already I mean, bought think, it. What do I care? I think the phrase you used was player be damned. Right? <laughs> That's, that was more the catchphrase. That's kind of my design philosophy, really. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be in jail? You must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. Cover says, famous pirate quotations.
might you want to go? Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? No, I'm on a treasure hunt. What? They're doing a treasure hunt again this year? I can't believe they'd try that again after all the mishaps last time. What kind of mishaps? Well, some people got carried away, some graves got dug up. Horrible business. Well, enjoy Mardi Gras. Nice shop you got here. On the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? All you. I have to go now. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. How much is the map piece? The map piece is made of authentic parchment from the turn of the century. Can't find things like that anymore. Yeah, but how much is it? Oh, about six million pieces of eight. Uh, I don't think I have that much to spend. Well, I do have some nice fake maps for less. No thanks. Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why, but the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Alrighty, that'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. He likes it where it is. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. And I'd like to sell it to you. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this sign. 
sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this mirror. Okie dokie. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone, or on reserve. Sorry. I'd really like to rent a costume. Try us after Mardi Gras. I'd really, really like to rent a costume. Look, if you don't have a reservation, you don't have a costume. I need to rent a costume. I said I'm all out. I have to rent a costume. Next time, make a reservation. My life depends on renting a costume. Next time, make a reservation. Did I ask you about renting a costume yet? Next time, make a reservation. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a five island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. Um, I'm looking for a costume. Sorry, can't help you. You look busy. I'll come back later. Ah, you have a costume on reserve. Well, that's a different story. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. What a beautiful dress. See the world. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. Cruises. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 39 North, 86 West. Sightseeing. Last day before I leave for Fat Island. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to chart her ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? See the world. Sightseeing. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Stan. Look, we took the costume from the original game and painted it black. Yep. Same animation. That cost savings we had to do. The, the the pattern that moves with the coat was like 
it's something that we did on the 2D games to save ourselves a lot of effort, but as soon as they started making them in 3D, then it became really hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, how do we replicate that effect? Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Do you do funerals? Of course we do funerals! And not just those somber, all-black, three-handkerchief affairs. We do it in a rowdy Mardi Gras style with music and dancing and pallbearer races. I'd like to say we put the fun in funerals. <laughs> I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, Now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Can I show you anything else? I gotta go. See you later. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I can. Three-hour tours. Okay, now, who's gonna be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juice. I love any game that has a spitting contest. Step up to the line and test your swill. Look at that picture of the spit, of the, the little rising. banner with the spitting mouth. Ugh. Even a what a gross game. In fact, Who came up with the spitting contest? Well. It's no one wants to own the spinning contest. I mean, no, no one's like, that's my I, baby. I think you programmed it. Though. Nope. Well, yeah, I did. I did the programming of it. Programming. Because it was really like, challenging and we always gave me the... I, I, I like the, uh, the the methods that you used to win, though, which is cheat, yeah. cheat, and cheat again, basically. <laughs> it's your standard it's a, it's guy rush lesson. adventure game. It's a, it, our, our, our games are, are, are forming the morals of the youth. Of well, it's a game about pirates. <laughs> Social can't one. teach positive moral values in a game about pirates. <laughs> pirates, what do they do? They steal, what was that? pillage. We're just lucky we, they left out that third one. Mm. You know, I did all those adventure games for kids at Humongous Entertainment. We really had to come up with very contrived reasons why you weren't just stealing everything you had to pick up. <laughs> I remember having to write a lot of lines for Pajama Sam about that, and my take was always. Oh, I found this. I better try and find the owner and give it back. You know, he's always sort of carrying around all these things. Right. So we're going to go back to somebody. Yeah. Or I don't if think the person was there, he would always ask to borrow this. it. Yeah, yeah. Can I borrow yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, you Because adventure back. games just do not teach children good habits at all. But playing them can teach you valuable things like reading, English, stealing, pointing, clicking, spitting, spitting. saving often. <laughs> Just look at this juicy crowd. Oh, me, me, I'll give it a try. A volunteer. All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? I am, of course, Captain Lugie. The Lugster, Lugarama. Hawking the big ones for fame and fortune. Spit away! Come on, Captain Loogie! Woo! Let's go! Spit! Misfire! Misfire! Everybody run! Gee, that's too bad, Captain. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. I know you want to volunteer. Thousands will spit. Hundreds will win. Sunken galleons. Cruises.
That sounds like the mail boat. I'd better fire the cannon. That ought to do it. Of course, I don't see no mail boat. Well, where's the mail boat? Thought I heard it. I see. costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Do you have a costume? I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist, but you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here. Go in the bushes or something. Jeez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Okay, I guess you can go through. Have fun. touch that dog. Now why would I want to pick on such a cute little puppy? Hey! Get your staff only! Sorry. I worked on this part and there was a really funny bug where you make the chef mad at you and he chases you around harassing you. And I, I had a bug where I didn't get rid of the chef and make him go back to home if he left the area. So he'd follow you around the map. Who do you think you are? on this part and there was a really funny bug where you make the chef mad at you and he chases you around harassing you and I, I had a bug where I didn't get rid of the chef and make him go back to home if he left the area so he'd follow you around the map but the thing was um, he would we'd reuse actor numbers and he was actor 12 or something and that actor was like um, Captain Dredd's ship on the map so like Captain Dredd's ship would follow you around the map yelling you are just some scum and I know you know and just every character every room you went into a different random thing would just harass you and, and berate you why didn't you that? And to use this meat cleaver in a second, this neighborhood has really gone downhill. Get a job! Why don't you go down to the dump if you like garbage cans so much? Oh, 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 oh. The beast on here. And again, these costumes keep sticking to me. That's true. There might be some babies here. Maybe more 
are you doing about it? What did you just ask? Ask? What are you nuts? Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh. Mardi Gras sure is tough on us women. Here's the one about the polar bear with the hair. Yeah. Last week. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. And how's work? Same old, same old. Like the music? It's all right. Where'd you get the costume? Ah, uh, I wore it last year. Can I get your refill? Yeah, I'm fine. Pretty good to me. Yep. Heard my name joke? Not in months. Gotta get the recipe for that fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I had my thing. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty good too. Yep. Yeah. To Elaine Marley. To Elaine. To this great party. To the party. To the salmon pate. Pate. To Mardi Gras! Mardi Gras! To all the women I've loved before. Oh, okay. And let's have one for the Jolly Roger! Yeah, for Roger! To the sea! The sea! To the land! The land! To the manatee! Ah, yes! To Santa Claus! Santa! To the love of a good parrot! I, a pirate's best friend! To that captain we strung up three years ago! Swab this! That's what I say to him! Nice mask. Thanks. More subtle than most. Yeah, thanks. Not your usual larger than life Mardi Gras head. Nope. Probably saved a lot of materials, huh? <laughs> I'm sure I don't know. Not that paper mache is very expensive. Do you mean papier mache? Yeah, whatever. No, I don't imagine that it's very expensive at all. Still, you must have saved the bundle. <laughs> I never scrimp when it comes to the holidays. Well, I didn't mean you were cheap. Parties and balls are my life. I just meant... Making gay is the only purpose I can find in my wretched, well-to-do life. I'm sure it must be hard. But you say my costume looks cheap? No, no. It looks great. That's not what you said before. I just said it looked subtle. Can't we just drop the subject? Yeah, okay. Hear the one about the polar bear with the hair lip? <laughs> yeah, last week. Pretty good turnout. Yep, like the music? It's all right. Where'd you get the costume? Ah, oh, I wore it last year. Pretty good turnout. Yep. To hear the one about the polar bear with the hair lip? To penicillin! I'm gonna sweat off 20 pounds in this stupid costume. No kidding, I forgot to put air holes in mine. Why do we put up with this stuff? I don't know. Just to prove we're fun-loving guys? Check out the spitting contest? Yeah. Got second place. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, the wind was with me. Like the music? It's all right. How's work? Same old, same old. You're the one about the polar bear with the hair lip? Yeah, last week. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. <laughs> I wonder if she wants a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh yeah, some party, eh? You're the one about the polar bear with the hair lip? It looks like part of the map to Big Whoop. Pretty good turnout. Yep. How's work? All oh, right, I got the first map piece. What's the matter, boy? Smell something? Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> What's the matter there, Dabrush? 
How did you know my name? I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not much of a name if you ask me. It says it's because he's dumb and helpless and keeps getting in the way. But he sure can sniff out the governor's possessions. Maybe you should empty your pockets. Try and catch me, old man. Oh, uh, look out for that rake. Governor, I caught one of your party guests making off with your grandfather's map. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. In here, Guybrush. Guybrush? Guybrush Threepwood? The one and only Sugar Bear. Of all the parties in all the houses on all the islands of the Caribbean, he had to crash mine. It's destiny, honey cakes. Don't talk to me. Snuggle puss. Get lost. Punky doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper dooper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. Look at us, together again. Boy, we haven't been like this since, well... Since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address? Was that what happened? Gee, I, I thought... Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. And so, when you can have the, the dialogue with Lane where you can either insult her, you have to grovel a bunch to win the puzzle, but you, they can also have the choice to insult her. Mm -hmm. I remember watching, and this, um, this one woman was playing it, she couldn't figure it out, she couldn't figure it out, she's like, oh, and, she, and we're like, had you tried all the dialogue? She's like, I've tried every dialogue option. And, um, and we're like, what about that one there? There's a dialogue option about, like, have you gained weight? And she's like, wow. Never say that to her. Like that was like too. I learned a lot. It's about too far. It. That was the line. Yeah, she was like, even to an imaginary video game character, I would never say, "Have you gained weight?" These pants make me look fat. Gosh, you're cute when you're pretending to be mad. So much for a pleasant attitude. I came all this way to see you. At least get me a beer. I see you're charming as ever. Have pity on my poor, broken soul. Oh, really? Can't you see how my heart has suffered? You're getting warmer. I'll win you back if it's the last thing I do. Well, that's not the most stupid thing you've ever said. If I can't be with you, I don't want to live. That's a little better. So, who's the father? And here I thought you were becoming a decent guy. I realize now what a fool I've been. Oh, Guybrush, I know I shouldn't have anything to do with you, but there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're going to let me have the map? The map. Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about... You'd better go out and get it. Pardon me, Joe. Devil. Hey.
she's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. Well, maybe she won't miss this old thing. You hear the one about the polar bear with the hair lip? Filbert's out raking the back 40. I'd like to, but this dress just doesn't have the pockets for it. I'm gonna ditch this thing once and for all. You okay, dog. You're coming with me. Where do you want to go? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Pirate, we don't serve your type here. Really? No. Just jerking your leg. All right, can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellow Beard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellow Beard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary Crazy Straw. We give them to all new customers of the Bloody Lip. Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. It's a green drink in a broken glass. I don't want to disturb him. He's cute. Hey, what 
what'd you do to my piano player? Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. I think this may be controversial too, but I think that the special edition for Monkey 2 is an improvement, like, as an old, like, playing, I'm very nostalgic when I played the special edition for Monkey 1. I was kind of like, the old art is so charming. I would play it in the old art. The new art was really pretty, but I was really drunk. But Monkey 2, I'm not saying that Monkey 2 looked bad, but we were just starting to use the scanner, and so we hadn't cleaned up much stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really nice to see it switch into that cleaned up view. Because I think, you know, in later games, we would take all those straight pixels out of there and just smooth it all smooth out. Smooth it all out, yeah. yeah. I think some of that's an artifact of the markers, because, you know, Peter Chan did everything with those markers. Mm -hmm. It's all done with the markers. I think that's a little bit of an artifact of that. That's my round away, roundabout compliment of the Monkey 2 Special Edition. Characters of the wrong scale in this room. The guy was just like really tiny compared to this giant guy sitting at the end of the dock. <laughs> right. You've been amazing. I only remember the bad things. <laughs> the we, it was that way for a long, long time, time until someone pointed out. I was like, that guy's three times as big as Guybrush. Oh, the library. Did we, have to, we had to make like a special big Guybrush to go in, in the room. Yeah, because we didn't have that kind of scaling. We could scale down, but we but couldn't not scale up. up. Yeah. Just turn into giant pixels anyway. But so. we had all those extra floppy disks, so <laughs> we could just as much of that stuff as we wanted. Got anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these aisles. Oh, I beg to differ with you. I'm the best fisherman in these aisles. You? Why, well, you couldn't fish your way out of a paper bag. What? The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. You mean the blow hard. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. Not if your bait is as tiny as your brain. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? Sure, I'll take your bet. Let me tell you what I had in mind first. If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. Sounds fair. If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. 
Raw? Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right, it's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> um, think I'll drop a line right here. Plunk. Wow, I've got a nibble already. Holy cow, he's a monster. I've got him. <laughs> what a battle. Wow, this is the biggest... The, uh, well, it... It's almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? Uh, uh, I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pole. Excuse me, aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, huh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. Where do you want to go? I'll figure a way out of here. I'll figure a way out of here. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Claim she was framed. Fools. Fools. Hey, there's some near grog in here. They can't keep me locked up. I'll figure a way out of here. Hey. Uh-oh. I can explain, I- Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. Where do you want to go? The world. Just look at this juicy crowd. Just put your two lips together and blow. Thousands will spit, hundreds will win. Don't let the ass rip her up and die. False alarm. As I was saying, you think spitting is gross? I'll tell you what's gross. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Turn a disgusting habit into a prestige winning skill. Oh, me, me. <clears throat> Captain Lugie is in the house. Spit away. was truly awe-inspiring. Sports fans, we've seen something incredible here today. Let me congratulate you and give you this fine commemorative plaque. I salute you, Captain Lugie. Come on, let's give him a hand. Of course, there are plenty more prizes for the rest of you. How do you solve this, but you blow the horn and that makes the cannoneer fire? He already has the necessary equipment. 
Prove to me that you guys are at least as fun as a pack of llamas. Glass bottom boat. Sunken galleons. It's a plaque with an odd looking gob of something on it. How much will you give me for this plaque? I'm not interested. What do you mean? It's worth a mint. For a lump of pus on a shingle? That's not just any lump of pus. Oh yeah? What's so special about it? The spit of the person who killed LeChuck is on it. Really? That would make it very valuable. And I do like bronze anyway. I'll give you 6,000 pieces of eight for it. Cruises. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll pay you the 6,000 pieces of eight. You've chartered yourself a ship. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah, I'm hot to find the wreck of the mad monkey. Have you got a course planned or anything? I can show you where I want to go on this map that Captain Dredd gave me. in and look for the sunken galleon. Are you sure you can swim? Hey, I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. I love. This is one of my favorite, uh, my favorite parts here. Wait, well, when did this happen? When he jumps off the ship and goes down. There was big tech here oh, yeah. because we wanted to seem like a long time. Oh, we time did a scrolling. A big scrolling because we didn't have and a camera angle scrolling. change. There's a camera angle change because you look up well, to the boat. Uh, it looks like it. It's it not like a real camera angle change. Well, because there's no actual cameras because it's 2D. This, this was all 3D. Color cycling this was all 3D. It's all 3D. Yeah, we did color cycling for the water, yeah. and then we just moved. There was no way to do a full screen effect with the no. technology that they had run no. on 286. And no. We had, Wait, we, so we actually had we a had, red version of that. Oh, that was color cycling, but we turned the forest red for the bone dance. Must have been. Oh, yeah. I thought he was going to kiss that monkey head. I remember Steve Purcell saying, what am I going to do with 256 colors? <laughs> like, we went from monkey one to two, and he's like, <laughs> too many colors, I can't do <laughs> yeah, it. For a long time, all they did was add gradients. Mm -hmm. They just like add a gradient of color <laughs> right, in between right. everything. Steve so has this amazing ability to take a block of eight by eight pixel mm -hmm. block, of sixteen colors, make it look like anything. Mm -hmm. And that stuff is now these days cooler looking. Like you know how like you know eight bit art in general looks really hip and stylish now. That's right. There's a whole but that in between like revival movement. VGA, I don't know if that will ever look hip and cool mm -hmm. in the same way that like EGA looked. Remember when we had to go through the entire game okay, and, and make it work in CGA? Yeah. Because some people we only use CGA, that weird gross combination of pink and there green. There was like two blues and two pinks or something. It's like a cyan and a weird magenta. But the, the game would work in our Hercules monitors too, though. That's right. It was monochrome, a monochrome yeah. monitor, so it's undocumented support. Yeah, we never, we never shipped to work on the Hercules monitor. But we always had those it separate... Did, though. We also had those separate Hercules monitors. Those were our debug yeah. windows. We and we had a separate debugging. Mac for our email because we <laughs> couldn't buy bother to use email somehow. <laughs> email didn't work on PCs back then, I guess. It looks really heavy. Thank you. 
I got the monkey head! Well, let's head back to Booty Island. Well, congratulations on your find, Guybrush. Be sure and tell any friends you might have about capsized charters. See you around the turnpike. Glass bottom boat. Are you the same Kate who bought all the near grog at the Bloody Lip? Yeah, and you can't have any of it, so don't ask. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Glass bottom boat. I didn't think anyone would ever get the Mad Monkey's figurehead. Can I get the map piece now? Sure, it's yours. All right, I got the first map piece. way down there. No thanks. Only shiny pages left in the catalog. How rustic. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Dad? Mom? What are you two doing here? We came looking for you. Where have you been? You came looking for me? But I thought you abandoned me. Why would we do that? We are such loving parents. Yes, we are. So what do you two want? We have some information for you, son. Really? Great! What is it? Well... We're going to give it to you in the form of a song. Oh, okay.
to the hip bone. Yikes. What is it? What's wrong? Why did you leave me again? Boom! Ah! Chuck, but I killed you! You didn't kill me, you little moron! I was already a ghost when you met me! You just destroyed my spiritual essence. A favor that I will now return. Wow! What a dream! Where do you want to go? Deep inside McChuck's fortress. The Chuck, sir. I regret to report that Guybrush has found one of the map pieces to Big Whoop. You will regret it a lot more if he finds another. Stop him at any cost. But remember, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Creep. Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Mmm, looks like a massive fracture. You're gonna be using this? I better reinforce it for you. <laughs> Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new. Where do you want to go? Check it out! See the world! Well, well, well. I knew you'd come back. My customers always do. Eventually. Could you show me that coffin again? What an excellent idea! Now this isn't just your average 60 gallon coffin. This has the full 75 gallons you need to avoid unsightly bone readjustments. Could you get in and show me how big it is again? Hey, anything you say! Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Alrighty! This thing's bigger than my kitchen! You know, a person's coffin should reflect their station in life. Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Alrighty! If you're thinking about one of those cheaper models, first ask yourself, Sure, sure, try out the lid operation. It's just as roomy clothes. Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Sure! This is truly the casket of captains. When you've spent your life on something as big as the ocean, how could you spend your death in anything smaller? Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Okie dokie! There's enough room in here for a pirate and his parrot. But it's open. It's just as roomy closed. Here, let me show you. See? Feel free to join me. There's room for both of us. I could just stay in here all day. I hear you knocking up there. That solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey! 
I think the lid's stuck. Um, excuse me, friend. Uh, be there in a minute. Hello? Is anybody out there? Yoo-hoo! Help! I can't get out of here! Okay! A joke's a joke! Now get me out of here! Open this coffin right now! Someone's going to pay for this! I'd bust out of here, but the dang thing's built too well. Well, if I had to be stuck in a coffin, at least it's the deluxe model. Nice! Uh, be there in a minute. Hmm, really is pretty roomy in here. Are you still out there? Hello? See the world. Check it out. I think I get the idea. That's the bird that stole my map. Uh, no way. He looks like he bites. It's hundreds and hundreds of maps. I don't want them all, and I can't tell which one is Governor Marley's. And it's crazy, but it just might work. Hello? Little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. Yeah, now I got two map sections. you want to go? Once again... Ah, LeChuck, sir. I just wanted to report that we have finished building the new torture chamber you requested. Very good. Do you have anything else to report? Ah, uh, no. Well... There is one other small little thing. I assume this has to do with Guybrush's capture? Well, sort of. You've allowed him to find the second map piece, haven't you? You fool! You ought to ready your ship and sail after him yourself. Find him, or die! I remember when you had that uh, squirt bottle by your desk and when people would come in and they would talk to you for too long, you would squirt them like we were cats. <laughs> and eventually and then... everyone turned on me and they tackled me and like Brett held me down underneath Tammy's desk and opened the lid on the squirt bottle and drenched. dumped it on my head. And then you, you went home pouting. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You went home mad. Well, I was pretty mad. <laughs> I was like, can't you take a joke? <laughs> can't you take a joke? What's this doing in a pot? 
pirate game. of the house home. What do you really want? I'm looking for a map. I knew it. Look, kid, I'm sick of you would-be treasure hunters coming over here. I just inherited this house two months ago, and every single day all I've heard is rap tap tap. Do you have the treasure here? Why can't you people just go away and leave a retired pirate in peace? All I want to do is come in for a minute. No. Please. I said no. I won't touch anything. Leave me alone. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. So, you want a sword fight, do you? Sword fighting's for wimps, weenies, and sissies. Giving up so easily? Wow, this game's a cinch. I have a better way to solve a dispute. Real pirates solve their differences with a drinking contest. Drinking contest? Come on in. I'll get us set up. This is my special grog. It's just for contests. Twice the alcohol, twice the calories. I hate having to waste it. Here's your drink. From what I'm told, Nobody can drink the special contest grog without feeling faint. But I've been practicing. You know, most of the treasure hunters just leave when I ask them to. But you, you're persistent. It'll get you places in life, boy. But it won't get you into my house. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No, thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. <laughs> He's too young to drink anyway. this over with. Come on in. I'll get us set up. Excuse the boxes. I haven't had time to put them all away. Especially with all the people trying to get into my house. Okay, let's get on with it. Here's your drink. My usual drink used to be a strange drink made by cannibals. It's smooth as a pirate savvy. But it's powerful medicine. All gone. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. <laughs>
think I'll leave it here for Rum Rogers. Died while taking a bath. That makes three map pieces, only one to go. I'm too short. Want to go? Deep within LeChuck's fortress, blah 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 blah. Largo. Yeah. You called for me? Is it true that Guybrush Threepwood has found the third piece of the map to Big Whoop? Ah, yes, sir. I was about. Why did you not come and tell me yourself? Well, I was trying to confirm that he really... Largo, you have been my trusted henchman for many years, but I won't hesitate to drag your entrails from behind my ship if you do not bring me Guybrush before he finds that treasure! Pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Commander Buttonhead. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Old Skunk Eye. Darg! Fester Leech. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Barney Gout. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Rap Scallion. It's inscribed with a quote. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Happiness is a warm manatee. Mouthwash, we don't need no stinking mouthwash. Hmm. Guilty.
again, Mr. Three Food. Hey, I've got some ashes for that potion. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Thanks. Remember, just a dab or doula. close one. If I didn't have my flame resistant apron on, I would have been killed. Uh, where exactly did you buy that apron wrap? Stang's previously owned restaurant supply. Why'd you ask? Look, wrap, you're dead. What? You're two weeks past the expiration date. I'm dead? Green as your old pickle relish. I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on. Pass along your part of the map to Big Whoop? No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. Turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. Thanks. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth, like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah.
I put it right here. I hope I didn't lose it. Ah, that'll work. Thanks. What's this? A map? Hmm, looks like only part of a map. I've got the rest of it right here. Hmm, very interesting. Can you put it all together into one map for me? I'll do it for you if you run an errand for me. Go to the International House of Mojo and ask the fortune teller if my love potion's ready. Okay. I'll try to have this done for you when you come back. Pick up some love potion. Oh, okay. Tell him I said to enjoy, but to be careful. It's powerful stuff. Wouldn't want that little guy getting hurt. Wait, I just felt a sudden disturbance in the force. As if a tiny, tiny voice just called out in fear and then hastily scratched a message in a table. I think Wally's in trouble. And I think LeChuck has something to do with it. Uh-oh. I better go check. Let's see here. There's some matches in here. And something that says Love Bomb on it. hastily scratched a message here. It just says, LeChuck. Oh no, LeChuck's kidnapped the cartographer. The poor little guy. Hey, he has my map. I love Wally the cartographer. Wally has just been taken so much abuse over the course of the series. It just <laughs> seems to be. Well, you know, we cut that it. stuff at the end of the game with, you know, him on the raft and all that. I oh, get, that's right. We cut the whole raft. I, I, I get a lot of email from people wanting to know what we were going to do with with Wally and that whole. Do we ever show what happens to him now? Because when you blow up out of the, you know, the what you call it, you blow up out of the, and then you used to land on a raft. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll find out. I don't remember. That's a good voice for him. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Could you guys hear my? See, now we steal, his, uh, we steal his monocle. Yeah, we steal his monocle. It's super sad. Yeah, we uh -huh. totally make him unable to do his job because we needed a lens for exactly. our little... Yep. Got to ruin go. everyone in this town before we're done. It just says, LeChuck. Brushes found the last piece of the map. Nah, the good news is that I got a plan that can't fail. Ah, you see, 
He must take the map to a cartographer to have it deciphered. I'll head him off before he gets there. If your plan fails... It will not, your voodoo lordship. The Ghost Pirate LeChuck, care of LeChuck's Island Getaway and Spa. Contents, miscellaneous voodoo supplies. I think there's something moving in here. Hey, Rich. I sure could use a hand with this one. Uh, looks like another box of live snakes. Sounds like it, too. Well, let's get it on the truck. In the small crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights, Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs and eel bladders to stay alive. Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate, Chuck. Ah, the Chuck's crate of voodoo supplies. You know, we usually don't deliver out this far, and... You guys bucking for a tip? Well, we figured since... Well, you figured wrong. The Chuck don't tip nobody. Gee, what a butt. Dick, I hate snakes. adventure game that I'd be able to get all those locks open. searched every island, sailed every sea, and now you are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? <clears throat> Largo! Yes, sir, LeChuck, sir! Take Guybrush down to the torture chamber and get the machine set up. Yes, sir! be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me. Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and crammed into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm. It is what is about to happen to you. 
can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet, which will ricochet off that pan, then off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain wheel, and sending you down into the pit of acid. Yeah. Uh, gee, I, uh... Do you know what happens next? Um, well... I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream. <laughs> Any questions? See, this is another one of those puzzles where you're locked in one place. <coughs> yeah, I like those. I, I love that bit of dialogue. I, for, I don't even know who wrote it, but he makes the bones out of Tarbush's... He makes a chair out of his bones and he calls it a screaming chair. I forget why. It was awesome. I think that came from that thing about H.R. Geiger. He made a chair out of his dead girlfriend. What? Did, wait, no, no, no. That was the guy... Or maybe it's a myth that he did, but I remember talking about that and I think that's why we did I that. I thought that was some other guy. Wasn't that the guy who shot his wife with a bow and arrow and made a chair of bones? Of a... No, who shot his wife with a bow and arrow? Robin Hood? The guy from Naked Lunch. Oh, Burroughs. Burroughs. Is that the bow and arrow? I knew he shot her. Or he yeah, shot her with a gun, gun, and then he made a chair out of her bones. That's pretty gruesome. He probably That's didn't do gruesome. that. That's, That's probably something yeah. I'm misremembering. Seems Never mind. Slightly yeah. unlike it. This was fun how you had to line everything up and get the spit that we used earlier. It's oh my god, what brilliant foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And all this nice green liquid to kind of motivate you to do that. If this is four, and this is two, what's this? One. Why do adventure games cost so much? Scanned VGA art is very expensive. What is the secret of Monkey Island? I'm growing tired of your stupid questions. Prepare to die. He didn't say what he was going to do to me. Uh, an ottoman comes to mind. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Pooey! Hey, watch it with a spit! Chuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally? Yeah? Where are we? Good question. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! Why did we make this game so long? <coughs> uh, it was like an insecurity. I think it's obviously we were insecure and we wanted to make it bigger. We had like a size issue. Mm -hmm. We had short game syndrome yeah. in the first one. No one ever complained about the first game. Like nowadays, no matter what you do, people say your game's short. Back then, no one complained about it. Did they complain about Monkey being short? No, 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 it didn't. Just management. 
No went. No, no, nobody complained about it. Complain about monkey being. I just think I just think we overdesigned it, and then we also yeah. cut. We also cut a lot out of this game. Yeah. Welcome to Dinky Island, home of the treasure of Big Whoop. I want my granddaughter to marry a real man, a captain, not a washout like you. Holly wants a cracker. Okay, let's go over it again so no one forgets where we buried the treasure. Hey, there's a cracker in here. Go the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Oh, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. That seems to have gotten most of the salt out of it. Herman Toothrot, what are you doing here? Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. What do you mean you've been waiting for me? Our meeting comes at this, the final moment of my existence so far. All else has been in anticipation of this event. Do you mean to tell me that your whole life has been merely a prelude to meeting me here today? Yours too. But see, already the moment passes. Now our meeting is nothing more than another note in the grand overture to the next passage. What are you doing here? I'm teaching philosophy here. Right here? On the beach? Sure beats a Tibetan mountaintop. I can go surfing when things are slow. What sort of philosophy are you teaching? Neo-existentialist Cartesian Zen Taoism. It's all the rage at cocktail parties this year. How many students have you got? Well, none at the moment. But as soon as word gets out that a guru such as myself is teaching at a beautiful locale like this, I'll have to beat them off with a stick. <laughs> Could you teach me some philosophy? Okay, here's a Zen koan for you. A what? A philosophical puzzle. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, what color is the tree? Red? Nope. Brown? Not exactly. Blue? Not even close. Forest green? Nope. Cyan? Not exactly. Lavender? Nah. Magenta? Not even close. Puce? Nah. Aquamarine? Not exactly. Taupe? Nah. Burnt Sienna? Nope. Raw Umber? Nah. Sepia? Not even close. Mulberry? Nah. Periwinkle? Nah. Orchid? Nah. Turquoise? Nope. I give up. Think about it some more and come back when you have an answer. Oh no, no, that's not right. Word up, Herman. Oh, hi. I'm looking for a treasure. Have you seen any? There are many treasures here, found and unfound. The beauty of the ocean, for example. Or the treasure of the past, seen in the rings of trees, or the half-remembered cacklings of a parrot. Actually, I'm looking for the treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I am afraid I am not uh, familiar with that one. I think I have better things to do than talk to you. I think you will find that the concept of better things is the frailest of illusions. Holly wants a cracker! It's instant low sodium cracker mix. Just add water.
it's nailed shut. Hey, dynamite, just like it says on the side. One, nine, zero, zero, seven, four, zero, J, E, D, I. Remember kids, if you're under 18, ask your parents before calling. Lucasfilm Games Hint Line, Chester speaking. I used to, I used to sit next to Tabby Toasty, uh, Tabitha Toasty, who ran the, the Hint Line, was right outside my office. I would listen to her give hints all day long. It was just, it was like, we well, take this and take the map and you go by here. Because she would just tell it. She wouldn't like give hints like, well, what do you think it is? She would just lay it out. Walk over here and they, do this. People were paying money. They want, they just want the answer. Yeah, want right I guess so. But she'd always answer the phone the same way. Look, Sergeant, like, can I help you? <laughs> uh, but, my, my, my favorite was when they would call for hints and they would, they would get the hint to do what to do. And then they would say, and then what happens? Uh, <laughs> and you'll find out. Oh, we'll go try this. Do they still have hit lines? Probably not. I think, I think the internet uh, yeah. destroyed, yeah, destroyed, destroyed, destroyed hit lines. You can't call all of these. But for one brief glorious moment of history, that was like the biggest money maker for the entire company. I think was the, was the hit line. When is Swallow gonna ship? It's been out for some time now. Where have you been? Playing some frustrating graphic adventure? Who thought up that dumb stump joke? I am tired of hearing about that damn stump. Do you have any idea how many calls I get a day about that? Don't ask me about it again. Where do babies come from? What are you, a pervert? What's wrong with you? Why do adventure games cost so much? Hey, I just work here. What is the secret of Monkey Island? Oh, I'm fed up with stupid questions like that. It's a surprise. Okay. How much money have I spent talking to you? 75 cents a minute. You can ask your computer to work out the math for you. I'm lost in the Dinky Island jungle in Monkey 2. Ah, uh, look, there are only two ways out of the room you're in. Figure it out, knucklehead. I'm lost in the Dinky Island jungle in Monkey 2. I told you, just walk off the edge of the screen. How hard could that be? I'm lost in the Dinky Island jungle in Monkey 2. I told you, just walk off the edge of the screen. How hard could that be? Uh, thank you. You've been very helpful. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You could have come by the shortcut like I do. Shortcut? Oh, the heck with it! 
Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Hi, Herman. Oh, hi. I think I have better things to do than talk to you. I think you will find that the concept of better things is the frailest of illusions. Oh, no, no, that's not right. I've hit cement. That's the last match. Great Scott! That came from the direction of Dinky Island. The idiot must be messing with my grandfather's treasure. Ugh, oh, I'd better get over there. That must be the treasure of Big Whoop. I can't reach that from here. There. I think that'll hold. Oh. And you showed up about three days later. Will you help me now? Anything to shut you up. That has to have been the longest story I ever heard. Oh dear. You remember these rooms? It was just one background and we'd turn on and off Is the doors. Yeah, yeah, Generic rooms. room technology Pseudo for Indy and Indy 4. Yeah, I think we had a patent on that. Pseudo rooms? <laughs> you can see it there when it flashes like that. Yeah, see, see that's when it was weird when you cut from one to the other because certain things would not change and other things would change. Because it was originally like an Indy 4 where you go to the castle, you go into a room, then you go to the hallway, then you go mm -hmm. to another room, you don't mm -hmm. see it. Right. That was such a great game. Oh, it was Indy 3. Indy 3. Last Crusade. Yeah, Last Crusade. That's yeah. when you go in the cat and the... Yeah. Well, the old the Last Crusade game. was when we first started doing the little dialogue. That was the, yeah, you mentioned things. the dialogue puzzles. Yeah, and then I think I think in, in Monkey 1, I think we, it was almost like the whole concept was proved out in a way, and then I think we went nuts on Monkey 2 with the dialogues. <laughs> Goodbye, LeChuck. You won't escape me this time. Oh? Why do you say that? Even if you were to escape, I would always be able to find you again. We are bound to one another. Like dreadlocks? Yes, rather like that. Or like... Brothers. Huh? I am your brother. No. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! No! And I brought a little surprise for you. Uh, I don't suppose it's a LucasArts game. No. Dolly? The surprise is a dolly? The surprise is a voodoo dolly, which I'll be using to torture you, and then send you screaming to another dimension, one of infinite pain. Observe. Exhilarating. Let's have some more fun, shall we? <laughs> oh, please, no more. Okay, time to send you screaming to a dimension of infinite pain.
At last. I'm rid of that pesky little wimp Guybrush. Ah, hey, I'm alive. Hey! I thought I was a goner. Oops. Strange. There must be something wrong with my voodoo doll. It was supposed to send you to another dimension, not the next room. Huh, shoddy materials, I'll bet. Well, I guess I'll just try it again. Uh, no. That's okay. I... I don't want a whole box. Hey, there's only one balloon in here. One bottle of root beer should be sufficient. I'll just take one. You remember these rooms? These are my parents! Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Oh, there's stuff in it. It's a pair of surgical gloves. There's a syringe in here. It's 
Voodoo time! Uh, here, try this. Now, isn't that better? Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time. Hmm, this looks loose. Hold on. Nine hundred pounds. This is hauntingly familiar. The warning tape says closed for construction. Well, it's one ingredient. That's two ingredients. That's three ingredients. Now all I need is a doll. Okay, brother, watch out, because I've got my own doll now. Pretty good, Guybrush, but not good enough to stop me! It says E on it. Hey? Oh, it's you! What, that again? Ooh, look at me quaking in me booties. I laugh at you and your puny voodoo tinkerings. Ah, stab the doll again. Take that, Machuck. Uh, you have to do better than that. You don't scare me. You know, this doll reminds me of the stretchy muscle man I had as a kid. I'm much too powerful for you and your puny doll. What are you gonna do now? I wonder what would happen if I tore the leg off this thing. Guybrush. <laughs> what? Come over here. No way. I'm not that stupid. But I want you to... <clears throat> take my mask off. Uh, see the true face of your brother. No chance. It just ripped my lungs out when I get close. <clears throat> no, no, I promise. Please, come take off the... Uh, the mask. Right, I'm coming over. Gently now. Remove my <gasps> mask. My God, you're my creepy brother Chucky. What? Did you think I was kidding before? Why have you been chasing me all over the place? Our mother told me to hunt you down. 
when our mother told you to hunt me down, did she actually mention killing me, or was that your idea? Look, Guybrush, could you help me out? Stick the leg back on the doll, okay? Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids! You're not supposed to be in here. Ah, so there you are. This is where it all comes together and is explained mm -hmm. fully. I think people might not understand this ending because you have to know a lot about numerology mm -hmm. and science. Mm -hmm. There's and, a lot of physics food, references. Food processing. The Fibonacci sequence is mm -hmm. incredibly important to this. All the we, clues. We, 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 uh, we went back and forth a lot, or around and around, I guess, a lot about the ending. Like, you had it in your head and it was like, I don't know, should we really do this? And we were trying to think of something mm -hmm. different that was, mm -hmm. was, was going to be better. And I think I, I may have that. actually convinced you to do the ending that, that we did at dinner one night. I was like, no, no, we should, we should just do it. It'll be great. It'll be kind of, I don't know. Kind of, kind of ambiguous and 70s. I remember like, we and went around and around I and around. I kind of remember it more as an thing. iterative thing that we like did. We did one part and then we're like, let's add one more twist on the end. Mm -hmm. And let's add, the, you know what? And then let's add another one at the end to make it like the first <laughs> one didn't count. And let's add, let's add one more and it kept mm -hmm. getting, and it, it was hilarious. Well, I think this if this ending gets mentioned all the time on you know top ten best endings of computer games is the yes. ending to Monkey Island two. And it, I it also gets mentioned it. Wait, on the top, top ten worst endings. It's like a very controversial <laughs> but see, ending. But People isn't that perfect? Or, or they hit it. In some ways, yeah. I don't, I'd that's, almost that's rather make something that half the people loved and half the people hated hmm. than a bunch of people felt everybody mediocre was just kind of like, about. Yeah. 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 on we're scolding you for running off your mother and i were very concerned thank you for hunting down your brother like we asked chucky dear you boys didn't get in any trouble now did you no, no sir. sir good i wish you wouldn't run off like that young man we were worried sick you don't know what kinds of murderers and ne'er-do-wells might be hanging around a place like this Okay, Mom. Well, come on then. Let's go ride the madly rotating buccaneer. Yeah. Some horrible spell over him or anything. <laughs> <laughs> 